Hey, welcome back. I know it's been a while. Almost about a year now, but I've been busy. You can see I got my electric car with the 200 watts of solar. I got my MPPT charge controller. Where is it? There it is. See, it's blinking away. I have the battery hooked up to this portable solar generator. As you can see, it's charging. And this supplies 100 watts of pure sine wave. It also has two 12 volt outlets and two USB outlets. And this is for to power my off grid reverse osmosis system. As you can see, it's in a bucket form. And I'll show you how it works now. Basically, you have two buckets, the reservoir is below and the pump in the uh, reverse osmosis filters are inside so basically that's here uh, you put your rain water in here you could put your city tap water and I'll show you how to hook it up basically So I get this tucked in. This is your uh, the black is is the, is a dirty out, so that goes to the ground, or you can put it back into the tank if you wish. But um, I figure the rainwater will be plenty. Okay, so that's your intake. Let me show you with the inside. So basically, you have your AC plug here. It goes right through this little crack so it doesn't get pinched. And then this is your, uh, it's called a BWT Best Water Technology. And it's a, um, has a magnesium remineralizer and it has silver impregnated to kill any leftover viruses or bacteria left in the water after reverse osmosis. This is your AC pump. It's actually, um, I think it's 24 volts DC. Let's see what this says. Yep, 24 volts AC actually. So it's converting the 120 volt AC to 24 volts DC. This guy, you can plug it in right here when I'm ready. So what I'm going to do is put this lid back on. So, so let me show you. So I have my, the output of the reverse osmosis goes right into the pitcher to be filtered for one last time. And um, let's see, this is your inlet for your dirty water. So I'll be showing that in a second. So basically you put your lid back on. And actually I drilled some holes in the bottom. So if this thing does get full of water, it doesn't short out the electronics. Okay, so this thing can basically be taken anywhere off grid and get yourself some pure water in short order. That's what I like about this system. So I got a little rubber grommet in here. I'm going to put you down. Okay, so I got the grommet there. This one's coming through the center. Now I'm going to get my rainwater and put it in there. I'll show you the uh, parts milling before and after. And um, hold on a second. So I put my rainwater in one of my old Poland Springs containers. And we'll take the uh, parts per million now. So 
I have my total dissolved solids meter here. Let's see what the rainwater is at. It's actually pretty clean. 14 parts per million. So this should be relatively easy for this reverse osmosis to get it down to one or two at the most. So let's see what happens when we fill it up. Two and a half gallons of water. And now what I'm going to have this, the waste line go into, back into the rainwater bucket. Let's turn it on, let's make some water. So let's turn on the function here. You can see we gained 1% already on the solar power. So this is actually uh, very efficient. This, this pump will only take 6 watts. So you can go, you can make a lot of water with a full charge battery as long as you have the rainwater to put in. So this is your waste coming out here going back into the holding tank. And the BWT filter is getting filled up now and um, we will wait and see we'll let this run for a little bit and uh, we'll do the uh, show the clean water that you can get just from dirty rainwater water is not too bad but I'm sure there's some type of acid rain or chemicals in there from falling through the back from the sky with all the pollution you can see the um, the output is actually a lot faster than the um, clean water but basically uh, we're using gravity to feed the pump and the pump boots the pressure enough to push through the reverse osmosis membrane the reverse osmosis is a three-stage filter and um, I will be adding a UV light on top of that, which draws another 6 watts. So still with the extra protection of the UV light, you still won't be using that much energy. So basically it's all contained all in one. I'll just run for a little bit and I'll show you the, um, the results. Let's see what the uh, pH is of this. So rainwater has a pH of, say it's climbing six, six one. There it goes, climbing up now. Six point six. Six six six. Pray for me. <laughs> so it's not bad. We're going six 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 for the pH. So it's pretty close to uh, neutral for rainwater. Just get back on. So water's going down. So basically, reverse osmosis is about a two to one ratio for every two gallons of dirty water going back here you get a gallon of clean water so it's not the most efficient but it's actually pretty quick as it um, filters 
and we'll be able to get that whole pitcher full um, with with less than this two and a half gallon. So I'll stop it here shortly just to show you what's going on inside. But I found this is critical to have the the um, dirty water bucket up top to have it gravity feed to the pump. I tried to sit it next to it and the, the pump doesn't create the suction it needs to uh, to push it through the membrane so it does need a little help as it's technically only a booster pump so but I've seen systems where they sell you the whole kit and it runs well over four hundred dollars and um, everything right here um, I'm not sure how much it costs but it's, it wasn't nearly that much but this is great that you can do it completely off-grid because I was thinking more about the um, you know, people in uh, Flint, Michigan and uh, the Hurricane Katrina where people had water all around them but they couldn't drink any of it because it was all dirty. So this is one way to uh, get your drinking water. Also now we're in the pandemic so um, the grocery stores are running out of bottled water so it's got to be another way to get your drinking water. And this is one of them. I also have made a um, stove stovetop distiller. Actually, it's really efficient. I barely have to use any heat to get the water to steam up, and it collects the water, and it's pure drinking water, zero ppm, seven ph. And of course, um, some people say that you shouldn't drink distilled water, but um, you can always add a pinch of uh, pink Himalayan salt or a pinch of sea salt in there to add your trace minerals back in and get your ppm's up up back where it's over zero as you can see it's dropping pretty pretty quick here and um, i'm actually going to shut it off now and um, show you so here's the off button it still trickles a little bit basically you can just take this bucket down now Let's see, let's open it up. Now I should get, um, actually I want to get a sample of the reverse osmosis water before it goes into the BWT filter because the BWT filter, like I said, adds some minerals back in. So I want to test to see what um, quality of water we're getting um, before that. Um, if I can find that, okay, here we go. I'm going to turn it back on. a little bit to get going. Here we go. Oh, gee, of course the bucket's not up so I'm not getting that higher pressure. That's enough. Let's see what we get for the parts per million. One. You see that? Oh. You can see that, but it's it's one part per million. Got too much water in there. Actually, let's see what the um, BWT filter, after that, let's see how much it adds back. After going through the BWT filter with the magnesium and the silver to kill any extra bacteria and viruses so we're up to 3 ppm so this is perfectly good drinking water as you can see I'll fill it back up and drink it myself 
and you can't get any better than this because you know, it's really hard to get pure drinking water nowadays. Oh, it tastes really good. Alright, thanks for watching.